Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we got another dope video for you guys. So today what we're going to be doing is giving you guys five Colt tips from how to turn yourself into an average Colt player to a pro. Now there, yes, there are a lot of other Colt players um, that are much better than I am. I'm not necessarily known for my Colt. I do play it a good amount to be fair, but there definitely are a lot of other pros. We've interviewed Dylan. I don't know if you guys have seen that video, but he's got a great channel as well as Jack Cheppo. I definitely highly recommend watching both of those as in my opinion, those are the two best Colts in Brawl Stars. So what we're going to be doing today is giving you guys five tips on how to improve your Colt game from amateur or average to pro level. Now, obviously I can't just snap my fingers and make you guys better. So you guys are going to have to practice as well, but definitely use these five tips that I'm going to be saying. So with that being said, let's hop into the games and let's get into these tips. So to honor the fact that Colt is the second most commonly played random brawler in the game, what we're going to be doing is playing today's videos with only randoms. So my first tip for you guys, obviously this is a very, very big one. You can ask any Colt player this is break the walls. So when I'm talking about this video, I'm talking about brawl ball more specifically than everything else. Sorry for that notification. Um, so it's very important that you guys break walls. Um, a lot of obvious reasons why breaking walls is very, very, very important when it comes to playing cold because it just gives you more room um, it gives you a lot more area to shoot uh, less area for your uh, opponents to dodge behind you guys can see i'm auto aim a little bit when you get into an area that you can auto aim with i would suggest it um, just because you know it's easier you're gonna have 100 percent uh, success hit rate so that's obviously good artara oh almost was able to get the kill and make the play but she wasn't able to unfortunately so it's 1-1 pretty early on in the game you guys can see I broke a little bit of this wall, but they can still hide behind it. So I'm just going to break it completely. And you guys can also see right over there in front um, of their net, there are also some broken walls. So we got a good heal over there by that Poco. We're going to be able to just move up here. The Tara has the ball, but she's not going to go for a shot, I think. We have these open walls over here. Oh, she did go for it. I guess you can never predict these randoms. So obviously with these walls more open it's a lot easier to score we're gonna go for that clip right over there not gonna be able to get it quick cold trick we're just gonna shoot the boxes and then use our super and that is going to be the first game so that was really good game by these randoms they're actually not too bad but to honor you know just a little bit of a challenge we're not going to do play again it's not like they wanted to anyways so let's hop into the second game and we're going to go over the second tip when it comes to elevating your cult level so going into the second game you guys saw me do it a lot last game but something you want to do is go for tanks so you should go on a lane where you face a tank and someone that can't really reach you. So you can just charge your super and keep your distance and get kills like you just saw me do on that Frank. If you're facing somebody like a Piper or something like that, we're just going to break the walls here. Um, if, you're, if you're facing someone like a Piper, it can outrange you, do a ton of damage, and it obviously won't be ideal for you. You guys saw when I was near that Frank, we just didn't let him go anywhere near me. A Pam is kind of the same, but not really. So you guys can see right here with the Frank. I'm keeping my distance, I'm hitting my shots, and just not letting him hit me. You guys can see we're doing a really, really good job this game. We're going to be able to get that kill over here. Hopefully that Leon sneaks it in, and he is going to. So I didn't get to elaborate as much as I wanted to in this game as I wanted for this point. So let's hop into a second game, uh, or a third game, I suppose, and continue talking about the tanks and why it's a really good strategy to go for them. So going into the next game, we're going to be facing no tanks, but we can still talk about why it's a really good idea to go for them. So again, going for tanks is just really, really, really smart because they can't hit you basically and you can charge your super you can hold your lane really really easily um, obviously you get more super charge for killing someone with 7k hp than you do for someone with 3k hp so that's really important um, but yeah going for tanks is definitely the strategy we're gonna really mess up our super over there but it's fine since we did win our lane um, so it's not like we're losing any type of position our piper is gonna move up probably gonna jump back oh he's gonna she's gonna jump forward we're gonna be able to get two kills and almost complete that kill or that goal we're not able to but the piper somehow still alive is going to be able to put that one in the net so you guys noticed i broke those middle walls over there which is obviously going to make it easier for us to score um just trying to charge our super at this point this mortis is looking like he's going for a kill and doesn't want to go for the ball the mortis is going to go for us we're going to go down as we went a little bit too aggro there but it should be fine because our teammates do seem to have this under control at least for now our piper is going to jump up and she's going to break our wall it's definitely something you don't want to do in brawl ball. just a general tip is unless you have to avoid breaking your own walls because it's just not going to go very well for you so we're just going to auto aim this mort over here since he went right into our face hopefully this leon can grab the ball he is going to be able to but he's just going to pass it to this penny which definitely wasn't the play we're just going to go up to this penny and auto aim it because why not oh we almost got the kill there but we weren't able to get our last shot off we needed like 0.3 more seconds over there leon's going to play the, the ball should be able to get the kill and put it in the net he got the kill 
but it is not able to put it in the net. So again, just to reiterate, um, not facing any tanks here, which is why I'm not going for it. But if you're facing tanks, definitely try and get laned up against it. I'm gonna go for a clip over there. I believe their Leon might be a bot now, but I'm not sure. I'm just gonna pass the ball up, move forward, and this Leon should be able to super shot it in the net. He will, and that's gonna end our second talking point. So let's hop into the next game. We're 3-0 so far with the randoms. Let's hop into the next game and let's see if we can continue winning and let's talk about our third point that we wanna go over. So going into the third point, um, this is a really, <laughs> really interesting thing because we're actually facing three tanks. This would have been a lot better for the other point. But this point is going to be kind of similar to the other one. So the other one is my uh, second point was go for tanks, which is kind of like what you counter. But this one is actually just avoid your counters. Now, obviously, you want to do that with everyone, but it's really important when you do it with Colt because Colt is a really high DPS brawler. We're going to go down over there. Not our greatest start, but Colt is a really, really high DPS brawler. He's amazing and he can do a ton, a ton of damage. And if you're playing with randoms, which most Colts usually do, especially in Brawl Ball, they kind of just queue up with randoms then you definitely want to be able to carry the team. So avoiding your counters is really smart because again, facing somebody like a Piper is a really, really hard win if you're a Colt. And on top of that, you're not going to get much supercharge out of it. So you guys can see I'm getting really good supercharge. Basically constantly have super against this team. Gonna try and get that clip. At least we hit him once. So we're not able, uh, we're not letting him regen, but it's not looking good because our teammates don't have the exact same idea. Uh, oh, we're going to be able to make this save. We barely are able to get out. Gonna go for the super on the front. Gonna be able to hit that full clip. So we do manage to stay alive. And it is on my shoulders to carry this team because we do have a Mortis on our team and a Crow, which isn't really good against the matchup we have. So something that's really important for us right now is to just go ahead and get our super right here and break these walls. Doesn't really matter if we get a kill or not. Just breaking these walls is a really, really good first step to uh, taking control of this game. So obviously we can't let this bull do anything over here. We're almost able to get the kill, not able to. Gonna go for a clip on this Shelly, not able to fully get it. That Mort should be able to get the kill. He's going to, I'm gonna be playing some goalie. Um, Shelly's not able to get the goal. There we go, we're able to make a save. So we still have a minute left, which is more than enough time to get a goal or two. This Frank looks like he's doing something a little bit interesting. We're able to get some uh, hits off on him. Our Mort's gonna go for a play, not really gonna do anything. Uh, Bull's gonna go for an interesting charge. We're gonna go for a super over here. We're able to auto aim it because of the distance. Not able to get the kill though. Gonna go for the clip on the Shelly. Gonna be able to get it. And here we go. The walls are open. We're hitting these tanks. And now we're just going off. This is exactly what you want to be doing with Colt. I'm gonna die. But hopefully the more... No. Isn't able to do anything. This is kind of unfortunate that we have these teammates for this game. Because it's a really, really bad counter. Anyways, 15 seconds left. It's not looking too good. Uh, the Crow went in. Not able to do much. We're gonna be able to pick up two kills, I suppose. But... I don't think it's going to end up doing anything. No, we only got one. But anyways, that's going to be it. So anyways, just try and stay as far away from the, your counters as you can. Piper, uh, Brock, you definitely 100% want to stay away from. Mortis, you want to stay away from. Daryl with roll and Carl with roll are the main, or Carl with spin, are the main five you want to stay away from. Make sure you do your most in staying away from them and just going for the tanks. That's going to end our kind of like little three game thing when it comes to brawlers that you want to go up against. Let's go into game number five and talk about our fourth point that we're going to bring up in this video. So here we go into the next game and we're going to talk about using your super wisely. So there's a lot of different ways that you can use super with Colt and you making the right decision is very, very important. So a lot of the times with Colt, you can see a lot of people kind of saving their super, going for like collaterals or something. But here's a perfect example, using my super just to easily break those walls, not going for any kills, wasn't going for any hits, and we're just gonna put the ball in the net. And that's really it. It's very, very simple. You just use your super as wisely as you can. So different ways to use it, obviously for damage, which is like the main way. Using it for breaking walls is very important. Sometimes saving it when it's just not worth it is important to do. Uh, we're able to get more kills over there. But this one's a really simple point. We don't have to go over it in many games. Uh, 34 seconds was enough time to explain it. Just use your super to break walls when you can. Um, if you really need to break walls, make sure you 100% do it because that's literally one of the most important things when playing Colt in Brawl Ball. Uh, using the wall break to score a goal like you guys saw me do in the first game is very important. So if you have super, you can save it for that. And then doing high DPS with your super going for collaterals are also super, super important. So just make sure you guys are making the right decisions and learning from your mistakes if you don't. Let's hop into the last game and talk about our last point. Let's get into it. Okay, so here we go into our final game. And this is a very vague and general point. 
but this last point is going to be be aggro you don't want to stay back when you're cold you want to go forward you're trying to do as much damage as possible you don't want to be staying in the back kind of hiding in the bushes doing whatever you want to go forward you want to be the one to take charge and control your team's destiny and decide if you guys are going to win or lose oh click the auto aim button by accident so we're going to be able to get that kill over there you guys can see our spike is doing a fantastic job this game so we probably are going to have to try and 3v2 so we're going to break part of that left wall over there i was hoping we'd get some more value out of it by also getting some hits and recharging our super we aren't able to but that's fine hopefully our primo can help out this game a little bit because it doesn't appear like our shelly is going to anyways we're doing a really really good job at this point of, of kind of just like 3v1ing kind of just doing everything on our own um, our spike is moving up. I guess he's a bot. Oh, he actually almost scored. We're gonna go for a collateral there We're gonna do some really good damage. I haven't really regened it. Oh, oh the spike. Please spike go. Oh No, poor spike. This primo is gonna try and put it in. Don't think he's gonna be able to do it Oh my god, we somehow scored. I guess the primo gets a little bit of an assist But we've been totally like 3v1 this whole time, but again, it's cuz we're aggro We can't do this if we're staying back. So again, it's very important to stay as aggro as you guys can and I would definitely recommend it. We're going to go over here and go for that trick shot. Oh, we're not able to do it. We're going to try and shoot it at the wall and then break it. You guys know that one from the first game. Very, very good move. Anyways, we have those mines on the left side here, so we can't really go for it. We're going to break the wall because we knew the Shelly was already going to break it. Unfortunately, that's not going to work out, but we're able to get a lot of supercharge back. We did some good damage. Um... So we're gonna go for like a collateral over here not gonna do too too much but we did get a lot of our super back again same thing going for a really nasty super we're able to pick up two kills primo's gonna be able to get the kill and i'm not trusting my teammates i'm bringing this ball forward putting it in the net and that is going to end the game and the video so i hope you guys enjoyed these five tips with colt if you guys find them useful definitely let let me know um if you guys didn't know them let me know or if you guys want me to get more advanced with the tips let me know this is kind of just for randoms because i know a lot of you guys just kind of like the solo queue play a few games for fun and colt in brawl ball is definitely one of the main ones so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed today's video sorry i haven't made any for the last two days still getting in the work of things but that's going to be it for today i will catch you guys again tomorrow peace